TS elements for SOLIDWORKS can be used to import quad dominant OBJ meshes from subdivision surface modelers. So let's just take a look at some examples. Here is an example that we got from TurboSquid, which is just an online um, place where you can buy a lot of OBJ meshes. So let's take a look at this hand model. So we'll look at OBJ files imported as a T-spline. And again, this is just a hand model created in in some animation program. But now using TS Elements for SOLIDWORKS, we can bring this inside of SOLIDWORKS. And again, it will read it in and convert it to uh, good watertight NURBS data. And we can also come in and edit the feature more inside TS Elements for SOLIDWORKS. Um, so by bringing in data, OBJ data from other programs, um, this is a really easy way of getting um, organic shapes inside your SOLIDWORKS, inside of SOLIDWORKS. Shapes like this are, are really difficult to make with NURBS, um, but because T-Splines has um, the ability to have an arbitrary topology where this is one single T-spline surface that um, that is able to be have non-rectangular sections that stay smooth when they're edited. Um, it can accommodate this type of geometry really well, and um, bring this inside SolidWorks where you can use it either as a prop or um, as 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 part of what you're trying to accomplish.